Hi, I'm Ray from California Hydronics, and we're here today to demonstrate the stainless steel impeller cuts on the relay. And we'll let DJ take over, and he'll, he'll explain everything. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to change the machine's speed over from brass to stainless steel. Uh, and for this chart and for this size, we're going to go to 102 RPM. Uh, so this handle here will be switched to the right, and the uh, top two, which is referring to these two, right here, 102, that's this handle here, and this handle here. So now this is 102 RPM. Okay, so this tool is uh, intended for use on the stainless steel parts. Uh, it's a double-sided insert and it has four corners so it can be flipped over. Uh, the condition of the tool itself can be checked just by rubbing a fingernail. On that cutting edge itself, it should feel smooth, it should feel uninterrupted, and you know that cutting edge is still good. We've made two cuts with this so far, and it's in good working condition. So we're going to set this up and take a cut. Okay, so with the spindle starting, we'll come into position with the tool and put up to the workpiece. And it's really we're just going to touch the workpiece and then move away. And here, we have... Okay, so we've already touched the tool off, and we can see here that it fell on a 40 which, uh, from taking a previous cut, we know we've taken 40 thousandths of diameter off of this part. Uh, a total of 40 seems to be a good cut for this part, for this size. So we're going to repeat this again. We're going to take another 40 off. So we're going to go to 80 on this dial right here. And then we're going to start the machine up and take a cut. And we're going to flip this little turret around and use this tool to chamfer the inside and the outside edge. That's done by loosening, rotating, and tightening back down. We'll start the lathe up, and then we'll just touch both sides.